Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am uh, hanging out here today at the uh, flea market. If you didn't catch some of my video before, I just did a little walk around. I like to go to the flea market and stuff like that. I look for junk, uh, stuff I like. And uh, I started thinking about, I actually started, woke up with this thought this morning. And uh, if you're not familiar, by the way, thank you for dropping in, Periscope peeps. Uh, uh, this is day 15 of the Triple S VEDA uh, challenge, which is vlogging every day in August, uh, sponsored by SavvySexySocial.com and Amy Schmidauer. And so I am uh, working on that. And I woke up with the thought this morning of, um, you know, what do you do when you, when you want to quit or when you think about quitting? You know, what is your process? What is your, um, what is your thought process when you say, I'm going to quit this? And I don't know what, you, what you're thinking about quitting. There's plenty of things I think about quitting. Uh, you know, I think about, um, you know, quitting doing social media sometimes. I think about just you know, getting off the grid and saying, you know what, I'm just going to you know, sit in my basement, uh, listen to my records, and just not bother. Um, because, you know, sometimes it's just a, it's a hassle or it's whatever, and you think, man, I'm just going to quit. Uh, there's times that I've thought, and for you that are on my YouTube channel, uh, there are times that I think about quitting uh, doing YouTube videos uh, for uh, for youth workers, and um, because you know it's just it's time, it's effort, and those things, and some of the things just like anything else we think about, we think about quit doing, is because we don't. Uh, I don't think, and uh, maybe you you answer this question too. Um, you know, what is the value? What is the value given, and what is the value received? And um, and you know what? Uh, for me. Uh, I have to think about in perspective when I think about whether it's YouTube channel well, let me use that since I'm talking to the YouTube family and the Periscope peeps here um, you know when I think about quitting doing YouTube or social media or uh, doing my own having my own store and doing all these things that I do to be out there uh, I think about the fact that um, uh, what is my why? Why am I doing this? Why am I? Uh, why do I make videos in the first place? Why am I doing this Periscope video today? Because I think some people that will chime in today or some people that will watch this video will actually think about through the process of why do I quit things? You know, why do I? Uh, why do I think about quitting things? Why do I want to quit things? And uh, I don't know what your reasoning, but I, if you're here in uh, the Periscope universe here, tell me what do you? Why do you want to quit things normally? If you say I'm going to quit this, it could be quitting the gym. It could be quitting. Your marriage, you could be quitting uh, friendship, it could be quitting social media, it could be quitting anything. But what usually strikes your mind when you think about quitting? You could be quitting your job. Um, you know, what are some things that you think about? Tell me here if you're in Periscope, but also if you're on my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below and that tell me what you think about, what goes through your mind, what is the process of why you want to quit? Is it the pain? Is it the um, you know, quitting maybe because you know, a desire to better yourself? Uh, you know things like that, and for me, I have to think about. And I'll speak to regards to the, my YouTube channel. Is that I, I thought about it yesterday? I talked to my son yesterday. I said, you know, I'm thinking about quitting doing my YouTube channel, and he said, well, why do you want to do that? He, I said, well, I said because you know there's not a lot of engagement uh, lately. There's not a lot of uh, comments or things like that. He says, well, he says, Dad, you gotta, you know, you gotta persevere. You gotta stick through it. He says, what kind of example would you be to me if you quit? I thought, you know, that's a really good point. You know, what kind of example would I be if I quit? If I don't, you know. But I had to tell him. I said, look, guys. I said, I said, buddy. I said, if um, I said if the people that I want to talk to are not on YouTube, then I have to go to where the people are. And uh, rather than drag people away from whatever social media platform they're on, I'm, I may have to go to them. And with 600 subscribers, which is a great number you know, on paper, uh, it's not 600 engaged subscribers. In fact, we talked about this at PewDiePie has, a, has like, a, uh, like however many followers, like you know, 6 million you know, whatever he has, followers, whatever he has. And we said, well, let's take a third of that or whatever. And we averaged it out and that if he had people engaged, if he had a, let's say he had a million followers and 10% of that, if he had 100 people uh, or 100,000 people comment those things, I said, well, I'm, a, I'm probably about the same place. I have 600, well, actually I have 5%. So even if you took 5% of what PewDiePie does and 5% of what I do, I think that's, I think maybe that might be the rules that really you're only going to get 5% of what your engagement is, of what your subscribership is. And so to me, I had to balance that and put that in perspective and say, you know what, it's probably the same across the board. I think that leads to the answer to why we think about quitting is because we think our situation is different. We think we're not like anybody else. We think that we deserve more or deserve better 
or deserve uh, more than anybody else. And really, the rules are the same. I have to think about producing good content. I have to when I get on Periscope, I got to talk about something I know about, uh, talk about something that will encourage people. And uh, if you're thinking about quitting today, whatever that may be, uh, why don't you work through the process? Say, you know what? Am I like? Maybe I'm just like everybody else. Maybe my situation isn't so bad. Maybe I'm really like everyone else out there. Maybe you think that somebody else is getting engagement, somebody else is getting more than you, somebody else has more viewership or whatever it may be. And it's the same way in churches and as a youth pastor, you, people, youth pastors think about quitting a lot of the times, so or at least I can say I, I thought about quitting of it because some other church down the street is just doing it a whole lot better than me. You know, what, what purpose do I have here? I got a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm fighting this battle against somebody else down the street. If you're a business owner and you have a hot dog stand, you know, in New York, well, you think, you know, just a couple blocks down the road, there's another hot dog stand. You can say, well, why would I bother? Why would I, why would I even want to do this? Because there's a, a thousand of these guys. And so, um, you know, I guess, I guess my admonition for today is this. Think through the process of why you want to quit and then go back to why you're doing what you're doing. And then, hopefully, as it maybe with me, is you think about and you say, I'm going to go back to upping my game. Uh, double down on doing good work. Double down on uh, bringing extraordinary value to the youth workers that I want to serve. And that's the why behind that. The big why is I would like to have uh, uh, some sort of job security or something beyond uh, my years that I could actually youth pastor. I don't know when that will be. I don't even know what that is, what that means per se. Uh, I know as I get older, I don't know if I want to, you know, um, be a 55-year-old youth pastor. That may be what God has planned for me. I don't know. But I would eventually obviously like to up where I'm able to engage and and make a living uh, talking and training youth workers and things like that. So, um, so I think about that for the future. I think about my family, uh, what will best serve them. And then I think about the youth workers, uh, you know, themselves. If I continue to make videos, let's say by the end of the year, I'm going to have 200 or plus videos of really solid stuff, I think, you know, most of the time, 90% of it's solid stuff. Uh, I think, you know, some young youth worker is going to come across this material and say, wow, what a, what a, uh, a ton of material here that I'm going to get for free. And who is this guy, Paul Turner, and who is this guy, um, you know, doing these videos for me, how, you know, hopefully they will think, well, this guy's pretty generous and he will, um, you know, maybe I want to contact him or get some advice or things like that. So anyway, that's my thoughts on, uh, you know, what do you do when you think about quitting? And I've, I've thought about that before. And so, uh, I think I just take a pause, take a breath, pray a little bit, pray a lot, and then, uh, make a decision and uh, go from there. So right now I'm not quitting anything. So good for me, right? And so hopefully you, you will not be quitting anything either. So uh, feel free. Let me know down there in the comments below if you're a subscriber, uh, uh, what you think about quitting or if you've thought about quitting lately. And if you're in Periscope, you know, if you thought about quitting something lately, what have you thought about? Tell me. I know there's only two of you guys here, but I'd like to know if you thought about quitting something lately. But um, anyway, thanks for joining me today for just a little bit of time here on Periscope. And thank you, uh, my regular subscribers. Thank you for joining me on the YouTube channel here. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like videos like this and you want more of them. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're brand spanking new. That will get videos like this in your inbox. And uh, until tomorrow, uh, day 16, uh, you guys have a fantastic weekend. And uh, I will see you guys later. Otherwise, have a great day, everybody.